Mark, tomorrow will likely be a very active day of weather with numerous showers and thunderstorms heading our way. More on that in just a second. But as you mentioned, enjoy today. Look at all the sunshine as you look from downtown to the north. What we do not have, like we had earlier this morning, is any of that haze that was out there. And here is why. The wind is now out of the west at 10 miles per hour, and that has dropped the dew point to 59 degrees. That's a very comfortable number. We've been able to warm it up to 80 degrees right now all across the area. So as we go throughout the course of the afternoon hours, the humidity, that will continue to drop. The temperature warms about 85, 86 degrees. If you're heading to Monument Circle for monumental yoga this evening, you'll be just fine. Nice and comfortable for that. And look at the temperature. It doesn't fall down to 74 degrees until after 10 p.m. this evening. So anything you want to do outside today, you are just fine. The clouds that are down to the south, they'll continue to head in that direction and we remain completely dry. Here's the problem, though. The warm front is going to work its way to the north. And you notice these showers and storms riding right along that warm front, almost acting as a roadway. Well, that warm front is draped right across our area throughout the entire day tomorrow, just slowly moving north. And that's why we'll have several rounds of storms moving along that front. And the Storm Prediction Center has the northern half of the state under a moderate risk for severe weather, enhanced from Muncie to Indianapolis to Crawfordsville, then a slight risk down to the south. So let's break it down for you exactly what you can expect morning, afternoon, and evening. I think for your morning commute, heavy rain is a good possibility, some localized flooding, but just the spotty chance of some severe storms as we get into the afternoon noon hour and eventually more so the evening. That's when we're going to start to ramp up the threat for severe weather and wind will be our major component. So power outage is very possible throughout the day tomorrow. So plan ahead for that as well. So here comes the first round of rain eight nine o'clock in the morning. Very very heavy could even be a little bit of hail associated with this. But again borderline strong to severe storms. The next round comes in around the noon hour. Again this is borderline strong to severe as we go throughout the middle afternoon hours. Maybe a little bit of a break and then as we head into the evening hours and even into early Thursday morning, that's when we're going to run the risk of spotty strong to very severe storms across the area with wind again being the main threat. On our scale of 1 to 10, damaging wind is as high as it can go. I'd bump that up even higher if I could. Hail, certainly a possibility and flooding a concern for us as well with the locally heavy rainfall, especially come tomorrow morning. So your Wednesday is very wet to start, some sunshine mixed in, and then we kind of set the stage for the strong to severe storms throughout the course of the evening. Once that front goes through spotty storms again early Thursday morning and then it's just warm and muggy heading into the weekend mark with temperatures that'll be in the 90s.